Welcome to our identification module. Our identification process has two steps. The first step is the identification process where a user or a system claims to be a certain individual. For a user, this generally occurs when you provide your username. We must make sure that all of the subjects on our system have unique identities and that two different entities are not sharing the same identification information. The user's identification information is generally considered to be public information. It may be part of their email address or it may be listed in a certain area where many people have access to it. So this is not necessarily considered secure information. We have several different ways that we can identify an individual. We can use a username or a user ID. We can also use a digital certificate, which is an example of something you have authentication. We can also use a security ID number to provide some anonymity or even a token device which can be used to identify an individual. We also have several methods of identifying computer systems or other devices. We can use a MAC physical address. MAC stands for Media Access Control and this is a hardware identifier that is put into a network interface card when the device is manufactured. A MAC address can be spoofed by an attacker in order to pretend to be a different system that may be authorized on the network. We can also use an IP address, which is a logical address. The IP address is not assigned at the factory. It is rather assigned by the administrator or the user when they configure the network setup for the device. We can also assign a digital certificate to a specific machine rather than to a user and then use that digital certificate to identify the machine at a later time. This concludes our identification module. Thank you for watching.